Hey, what's up guys? Happy New Year. I am uh, starting off the New Year by doing a review of some 16 ounce Grant Pro Training Sparring Gloves. Um, these are the 16 ounce lace-up gloves that Grant um, sells through their Facebook and uh, I believe through their Gmail account. Um, these gloves, I decided to do a review on these because they're sort of an enigma when it comes to the boxing community. Um, everybody knows that the the, the top three brands that most people um, usually um, purchase as far as top grade boxing gloves would be Reyes, uh, Winning, and Grant. Now Grant was um, previously sold, I believe, through Ringside. Um, Grant's been around for a long time, I believe since the 90s, and has gone through several different versions of gloves um, up to this this style of glove that they have now so um, a lot of you probably know Grant for their pro gloves that they use for pro fights uh, that Mayweather uses he has probably you know 200 different pairs of gloves ranging from crocodile skin to uh, camel leather whatever he has everything you can think of every color um, so they're a very attractive glove um, a lot of people like them because they have a lot of customization and they're just really nice uh, aesthetically uh, pleasing glove overall. Um, uh, the, the downside to that is that they are very expensive and they're kind of hard to get a hold of. Um, uh, they only have two stock colors. The stock colors that they have are the red ones right here um, and they also with the black and white and then they also have the black uh, with the red and white. So they look almost exactly the same except the color scheme is just switched. Um, anything above that is all considered custom color and it's more expensive so um, take it as you wish it's it's really up to it's really up to you as far as if you if you want to go custom and, uh, and go down that go down that path so um, I'll first talk about the actual glove itself um, the pros and the cons of the glove what I think about the, the glove and then we'll kind of discuss um, the pricing and, and really if it's worth the cost of how much it, how much they um, they charge for these gloves. So um, the first thing I noticed about the gloves is that they are um, they have a very nice appearance. Um, they have uh, this welted seams uh, that you typically don't see in a lot of other gloves. Um, it's kind of a signature of Mexican style gloves that you have these uh, these welted seams all along the thumb, all the way up to the the kind of the finger area, all on the side of the glove. Even between the um, the wrist support padding and the top of the glove, you'll see the welted seam inside there. Um, they do have a nice logo on the front with a Grant Worldwide logo on the on the front there. You have your your typical attached thumb. Uh, one thing I like about this glove in particular is that the thumb that thumb is is not awkward. It runs nice and straight and true, so that when you put your hand in, um, it doesn't feel awkward. Um, when you go onto the inside of the lining. Um, the lining is different from other gloves in, in that it almost feels like some kind of like a like a denim. It doesn't have that nylon slick feel to it. It has more of a, a kind of a denim feel to it. And then you can see the, the tag on the inside that has the Grant logo. Um, behind that you'll see the Made in Mexico tag inside there just for kind of authenticity. I know a lot of people are, are seeing knockoffs online. so. Uh, if you look in here, stitching is a little bit on the messy side, so uh, you know you would think that stitching would be a little cleaner for uh, gloves that cost three hundred and seventy-five dollars on up, but it is what it is. Um, the laces are really nice. I like these laces a lot. They they come with really super long laces so that you can really uh, lock your wrist in when you tie these up. So that's a really nice feature. The laces are are super long. Um, the wrist uh, support is really nice. It does have very very nice thick wrist support. I believe that's a, a very thick horse here that they might put inside there. That way when you put your wrist in there with your wraps it really uh, tightens that down nicely. Um, you have the red piping on the inside all the way up to the top. Um, you have the double stitching. Um, you have the vent holes on your thumb. And that's about it. As far as the leather quality goes, if I were to compare this to any of the leather on some of the other gloves I would have, um, I would say that they're very comparable to the Sabas gloves. The Sabas gloves, you might have seen my other review, the blue and black um, heavy bag gloves that I got from Sabas that were, I believe they were $90 plus or minus shipping. Um, 
I would say the lever, the leather is on point with that. Um, they're definitely not the same quality as Reyes leather. The Reyes leather is definitely a higher quality grade leather. It's thicker. It just has a nicer feel to it. It's more durable. You know, if you were to grab this glove and the Reyes glove and, and you know, sh you know, drop a bomb on them, the Reyes glove definitely would probably survive a little bit better than these gloves. So uh, Reyes gloves are definitely um, nicer in respect of the leather quality. Um, the stitching also could be improved on this. Uh, there's a couple little stress points that I noticed. I've only used these gloves just a handful of time. I haven't used them very much at all. Um, so you can kind of see that there's some little, you can see that's starting to come off a little bit and that might be an area that can start coming loose later down the road if I start using these more. So just little areas of stitching that can use a little bit of work. So overall a really nice glove, uh, small little flaws, but nothing, nothing too crazy uh, other than that. Um, again, leather I would say comparable to the Sabas gloves um, and not definitely not Reyes. Um, and then a little bit of a different than winning. Winning uses their own kind of leather. It's more of a, a slicker um, style leather. Uh, almost, sometimes people actually get the winning leather confused for synthetic leather. So, anyhow, moving on. Putting my hand into the glove feels great. It's actually a very comfortable glove. Uh, one of the more comfortable gloves that I've, I've worn. Um, you can make a great fist with it. It has a really broken in feel to it. Um, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. Uh, the thumb position is great. I really love the thumb position. I feel very comfortable, can make a fist, and doesn't feel awkward like my thumb is getting jammed. So that's nice. Um, the padding is almost like a, it's, it's a little more dense. So it's not a soft padding. It's almost like they use horse hair, and then they use uh, some thicker layered, layered foam, but it almost feels like an IMF padding in a way. And even though it's not, it just has that kind of nice dense outside feel to it so when you're using it on the heavy bag or you're using it for mitt work you can really make good contact and really get that pop so I like that. Another thing I like about these gloves is the inner finger compartment right here. Um, they use almost like a um, I would say it's kind of like a velour lining so it's very comfortable. Your fingers tuck in here nicely and you can really get a nice grip of this grip bar right here. So. They use right here on the inside of the glove, obviously you can't see it, but there's, they almost use like a felt slash velour style cushioning inside there. So when you grab it with your fingers, you really get a good grip. So I like that as well. Um, obviously it's a longer uh, profile glove, a little bit slimmer. Um, it doesn't feel too tight. Even when my hand wraps are on, the gloves feel snug, but not overly tight. Um, I did get these in 16 ounces, so um, that definitely gives me a little bit more room um, to train with. And I definitely like the feel of it. Not too wide either. It doesn't have a wide feel to it. Um, and then when you, obviously, when you lace up the gloves and you have somebody lace it up for you, um, when you cross this over, it definitely offers nice wrist support. And the long laces really help out uh, with keeping everything locked in. So um, the big thing with these gloves, obviously, is the pricing um, and availability of these gloves. They're not uh, mass-produced gloves. Um, Grant has kind of gone into being more of a boutique company. I know there's a couple of uh, interviews online with their owner and CEO, Grant, uh, uh, Elvis Grant, and um, I know he's in, insinuated that they're kind of more of a boutique brand. Um, so with that said, that also comes with kind of the boutique prices that you, that comes with uh, these gloves. These stock colored gloves start at 375 uh, plus shipping, and then they go on up um, as more as customization that you do to it. Um, and now, would I recommend getting these gloves for the average user? No, just because they're very expensive. Um, the quality, I would say, is probably not on point with Reyes. The leather's definitely not on point with Reyes. Still nice leather, but more on the on the kind of the second tier, like as as far as like uh, Sabas goes, the leather quality. Um, definitely a comfortable glove. Very very nice, comfortable glove. Would give definitely give that a high rating. Um, as far as comfort goes, but nothing you couldn't get for around a hundred dollars. Um, definitely not three seventy-five. Now, for people that say, "Well, why, why, why wouldn't I not want to get a uh, Grant? Why couldn't I just get it? I love the way they look. Um, if they're great, I have the money for it. Then more power to you. Um, if you have the money and you have the budget for it, it's your money. Do as you please. If you really like the way Grant looks and how they customize it, and if your hands just fit fit right in perfectly, then then go for it. It really just depends on your budget. You know, some people have 
uh, you know, two hundred and fifty dollar pair of Jordans. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean they could play better basketball. Uh, it just means they have really nice, expensive shoes. And the same thing could go with boxing gloves. Is, you know, you can have these really nice gloves, but uh, it won't make a difference uh, if you're fighting somebody that has more experience um, using, you know, fifty dollar title gloves. So it's really subjective. Uh, um, if you have, if you have, like I said, if you have the money for it, go for it. Um, if you like the customization, but I honestly don't think they're worth the three hundred and seventy-five dollars. Um, and you could probably get a comparable glove, comparable glove for a, a much cheaper um, from other other companies. But nonetheless, still a nice, solid glove. Um, really good quality. Um, looks great. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask, and I appreciate you guys watching. <laughs>